temperatures to end the first work week of 2024. Our high this afternoon was 34 degrees. This morning we started off at 17 degrees. That's the coldest temperature so far this season. Tonight doesn't look to be quite as cold as clouds will thicken and we run the risk for some scattered flurries after midnight as a storm system approaches from the southwest. 32, our temperature now in town. We're 31 in Napoleon, 32 as we look to the east in Kenton, and on the satellite and radar composite, we did enjoy that sunshine, ample sunshine for a time this afternoon. Now clouds are filling back in from the south and west. There is that storm system. We've been tracking it for several days. It's getting closer. It's going to track by to our south over the next 24 hours. But still, as that storm system gets generally closer to our area, some snow showers and flurries will break out late tonight and off and on for tomorrow. Another round of light snow is likely for the second part of the weekend as another weak wave approaches. But a more important round of precipitation looks to move in by the middle portion of next week. Skycast looks like this. Through this evening, we stay dry, mostly cloudy skies. Late tonight after midnight, the chance for some flurries and a light snow shower too. Often on light snow showers and flurries tomorrow, but the steadier and heavier snow will stay to our southeast. Then just lots of clouds later tomorrow afternoon and evening. Sunday morning, another round of light snow showers and flurries. This one has a better chance of producing a minor accumulation. That system too will exit by Sunday evening. Mostly cloudy but quiet for our Monday. After that, that stronger storm system approaches Monday night and Tuesday morning. The chance of a wintry mix of precipitation. We could see some slushy roads Tuesday morning as a heads up, but that will quickly change over to rain during the day Tuesday. And then later Tuesday night and Wednesday, a switch back to snow showers and flurries as likely as colder air filters in as that storm system moves away to the east. Snowfall potential this weekend. Keep in mind, most of this would fall Sunday less than an inch, but a coating of accumulation in in some areas is possible as we go through the second part of the weekend especially. As we check out temperatures later this evening falling back into the upper 20s by 9 p.m. 28 in Ottawa, 27 degrees in Deschler. Late tonight not much of a temperature change as those clouds stick around. 27 in Delphus, 30 degrees in Salina. During the day tomorrow with that chance for some light snow showers and flurries we climb above the freezing mark so even though we have that chance of a minor accumulation most roadways look to just be damp during the day tomorrow. Turning cloudy flurries late tonight possibly as we drop back to 28, light snow showers and flurries tomorrow, 37 are predicted high. The seven-day storm authority forecast for Sunday, another chance for some snow showers and flurries, mostly cloudy on Monday. That wintry mix for Tuesday morning and then rain and windy conditions that will switch back to snow showers and flurries by Wednesday, partly cloudy Thursday. Then another more important round of snow is possible by next Friday. Jeff.